In the past three days, the fighting has intensified as the Russian military did declare that the Mariupol operations were uh, over and that uh, the um, Russian military did seize control of Mariupol completely of that region. So we are seeing the soldiers of the Russian military I, I shift their attentions the, to other regions such as Zaporozhia, Severodonetsk, between the Lohansk and Donetsk region has been uh, fiercely attacked by uh, the Russian military for more uh, than 72 hours now, non-stop under a uh, very hostile environment. The Ukrainian military is trying to fend off and they have been able to repel some 11 uh, attacks by the Russian military in that region. The conflict has also moved further deep into the country as Russia is using the Uragan system. It's a self-propelled uh, grenade system, uh, which they have used in the Kriri Yiv Rih uh, region. So we are seeing the Russian focus of its military target new cities. There's also another push by the Russian military in the town of Mykolai on the outskirts of the Dnipro River as Russia is trying to advance towards the city of Odessa as the city of Odessa is the only one left under uh, Ukrainian territory on the Black Sea. So we are seeing Russia uh, completely isolate Ukraine from the Black Sea region, which is strategically very important for Ukraine as uh, this region served for its imports and exports of goods to the world as well uh, as items coming to Ukraine. So we are seeing Russia up its military bid by deploying uh, more sophisticated weapons such as the Uragan system, as I mentioned, and now we're seeing the Iskander being deployed, another very difficult and heavy uh, military weapon just on the outskirt borders of Ukraine with Russia. So Russia seems uh, to be showing no signs of letting off. Yes, there's definitely too early to be talking about peace efforts, as we have heard the Ukrainian President Zelensky just a day ago state that uh, the diplomatic efforts between Russia and Ukraine are crumbling and they have stalled. We are seeing continued fighting along the Do uh, Donetsk region. Lohansk is, has been under very heavy Russian attack since yesterday. We did hear a confirmation by the Russian military of defense stating that they do control 90 percent of that region. We haven't had a reply on uh, those claims from the Ukrainian side, but we did hear from the Ukrainian side stating that if the battle was to go on at the extent as it is, and the fighting becomes fierce, uh, that Ukraine is uh, risking of losing uh, about 100 uh, military men per day. So the fighting continues along the stretch of the Lohan's region, as well as the city of Nikolai, which is uh, very strategic in the south, uh, on the Dnipro River, also on the uh, Black Sea region. So it seems that uh, Russia is continuing its push to completely isolate uh, the Ukrainian government and its military from the Lohansk and Donetsk region, as well as isolate Ukraine completely from the Black Sea region, which is a resourceful, uh, rich region. So the conflict continues as uh, the hours go by, and we are hearing the Ukrainian President Zelensky try to rally his partners in the West behind him to support him both with weapons as well as finances. Заря раньше как-то по-другому называлась. Сегодня какое марта не знаю. Батарея, прям, блядь. 